You can if you want, but it'll take longer. We are on an early morning cycle around the local marshes. And while we're here, we hope to see, and with a little luck, film the resident water bowls. On days like these, it's worth a visit just for the sunrise. We've had a handful of brief sightings, but none hung around long enough to be caught on camera. Is it there? It was in that hole and just jumped into the bush. There. With nothing more than a little water movement successfully filmed at this location, we're pushing on to check out other spots. With the sun coming up and more people about, it looks like we've missed the best part of the day to spot them. But as we're about to leave, I can't resist one last look along the best ditch, which pays off. Goodness. Water bowl, fantastic. Once common in the UK, this species has seen a rapid decline over the last 70 years with a loss of over 90% of the population. A combination of habitat loss and changes in farming methods have taken their toll. But the biggest impact on numbers has been predation by the invasive American mink. Numbers in this area have increased slightly over the last few years. And with the correct habitat management and fantastic efforts being made to protect them, for now, the future of local water bowls looks fairly bright. But while there are no mink here, there have been sightings just a few miles away, so the danger remains very real. Directly ahead of me, in the reeds, on the bank. Do you see it, Jack? Yeah. There, moving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did it stop? Yeah. It's in the water. And as we're leaving, a nice bonus sighting. After wintering in Africa, sand martins have returned to their nesting sites.